Hey, you guys. Welcome to Pausing for Prayer. I am Pastor Lori from the Fairton and Newport United Methodist Churches. I'm grateful you decided to take a moment to pause for prayer and devotion. Um, it would be remiss for me if I didn't mention the loss that we experienced this week at the Fairton Church. We've lost another loved one, another family member. <laughs> uh, Russell Johnson passed away this week. And the only joy I can say is that he is now back with his bride. Parkinson is no longer uh, wreaking havoc on his body. He can do whatever he wants to do. He can walk around and talk. And for that, I am grateful. However, my heart is heavy, <laughs> as it should be, because he was a good man. But the show must go on, and I'm sure if he was here, he would be kicking me if I didn't <laughs> do prayer time. So... I decided to switch the upper room. Patient in prayer. Scriptures from from James 5, 16. The prayer of a righteous is powerful and effective. When I was young, we lived 2,000 miles from my paternal grandparents. I was able to see them only a couple times in their lifetime. They had little money, but every year my grandmother sent me a small present for Christmas and for my birthday. The worst present she ever sent me was a cloth bookmark with a tassel in the bottom. It had an embroidered picture of Jesus wearing a crown of thorns, along with stylized flowers and the words, May heaven's blessings be with you. For some reason, I kept it, even though my parents and I were not Christians. I found out later that my grandmother had prayed for me every day of my life. That made the bookmark one of my prized possessions. What patience, love, and strong faith she had to pray every day for a little boy thousands of miles away whom she hardly ever saw. I believe it was her prayers and those of my grandfather that brought me to Christ. And her example convinced me the value of patient prayer. It is easy to get rid of, it's easy to get tired I don't know where I've got rid of. It's easy to get tired of praying for a particular person or a situation. Sometimes it doesn't seem to do any good. But God hears and always answers with divine wisdom. I know growing up I had my Aunt Jean Gehring who would pay for me every day. And I'm sure that's probably part of what got me through all the hardships of just being a teenager and growing up as I was. So we have... For prayer request, ongoing request, we have those with cancer. We have those from the Fairton Church we regularly remember. We remember our church as we were mourning, uh, Mr. J passing. We also want to remember Mrs. Blue, Miss Mary, Mrs. Lanning, Reds, Bev, Jenny, Hope Edwards, and Connie. I also want to lift up Dominic Caldwell, Pastor Frazier, Louise, who's having a birthday this week, I believe, Ed, Dennis, Ruth, Jimmy, Chase, Nancy, Jillian, Cheryl, Mary Lou, and Angie. We also want to lift up Trey for Traveling Mercies. That was from the Newport Church. We also want to remember both churches. Uh, Josh Wolf in the Navy. Matthew McAllister in the Army. He was just deployed overseas. Dina, who's in Genesis for Rehab. Craig and Jen for encouragement. We have more people that have had surgery and that need healing. Mr. and Mrs. Holiday just for comfort. Uh, we have a couple new ones. Becky Sabota was added to the list last week. She had a relapse for EMS. She's in a wheelchair, has headaches, fatigue, all that goes along with that. We want to lift up the Diaz family. Uh, let's see. We want to lift up... Where did I see? I'm going to lift up Amanda, who's having blood work this week. Lisa, who's still having issues with her hip. And we also have Beth, I believe that's her name, who had a car accident. And she's had to have surgeries and many surgeries upcoming. It's a bad accident. Uh, that is Barry's sister, Beth. So we want to pray for her. So let's go to God in prayer this evening. Lord, we come to you with heavy hearts as we've lost a loved one, a family member, a sweet man of God. We want to lift up all the new Russell, 
especially those that have helped take care of him, that you would comfort them this day. I thank you for his life and his uh, sweet spirit, that he has always inspired me. And so I pray that I would inspire others as he did for me. I also have ongoing requests for those with cancer, Sherry Fisher-Riley, Janice, JC, Nick, Jennifer, Charlie Steinauer, Mike, Morell, Connie, and Lawrence Morgan. Wherever they are on their journeys, Lord, I ask for your healing touch. For those unspoken requests that are on people's hearts and minds, I lift them up to you as well. And any of those that are listening that need your healing or your grace and forgiveness, I ask that for them. I also want to lift up those regular member from the Ferrin Church. Uh, Mrs. Blue, Miss Mary, Mrs. Lanning, Reds, Bev, Jenny, and Hope Edwards. Uh, we Lord, we lift up these to you also from the Newport Church. Dominic Caldwell, Pastor Frazier, Louise, Ed, Dennis, Ruth, Jimmy, Chase, Nancy, Jillian, Cheryl, and Angie. Lord, I ask that you would bless all of these dear people to our churches. We especially think of all those that are grieving this day that you would comfort them. I want to lift up both churches to you and ask for your wisdom. I lift up uh, Josh Wolf, who's serving in the Navy, and Matthew McAllister, who's serving in the Army. I ask for protection for them. For Dina, who's uh, in Genesis, I ask for strength for her. For Craig and Jen, I pray for encouragement and peace. I ask for healing for Rob Hill, for Burgess family, for Gail, who's had knee surgery. Juanita, who has anxiety. For Ryan Jenkins, who has shoulder surgery. Lisa, who has issues with her hip. Amanda is having blood work. I ask for strength and healing for all those that are healing. The Lord, I ask for Becky Sabota that you would comfort her and bring healing to her, bring her out of this relapse of her MS. I also want to lift up Beth to you, and I ask for healing for her as she's had this accident. I pray you would be with those surgeons, that they would do well by her, that she would heal quickly. I also want to lift up Connie to you. I pray for her as she's found out some bad news about her cancer. I ask for comfort, but also for healing for her. We also want to thank you for those that have healed, for Mary Lou that was back in church. Uh, we also want to lift up all those that mourn this day, especially for Betty Coombs, who, who's missing her husband. And we thank you that even when we're sad, that we can still talk to you. When we're sad, mad, happy, you are always there for us. And I ask for comfort with my church. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for tuning in. I love you guys. You know that. Be good. Bye.